you're after keeping that spindle turning as much as possible, then look no further than the Matsura MX330 machine. And Paul Jones is going to give us the lowdown. So Paul, what is the purpose of this machine? It, for exactly what you said, to keep that spindle going as, as, as much as you can. I mean, keeping that spindle in cut is what companies need to do these days to remain competitive. And that is exactly what this five axis machine from Matsura is all about. So I'm going to talk a little bit later on and quiz you on the sales side and how this can improve your business. But let's talk about the logistics of the machine. Small footprint, 10 pallets, let's have a look. Well, let's go around here because this is where it gets really um, exciting. This is where the flexibility really is, is to its maximum because here you can see you've got 10 pallets, but on the pallets you've also got like a tombstone or a tower here. Now this means that some people would have thought that this is just for, for 10 different components, but obviously not because you can get eight parts per pallet so you're a mathematician here you Ten could pallets, have eight parts you're talking about 80 and you're always getting that spindle turning so every single time you're going to get a part off or a pallet off complete exactly but what you want your operator doing is standing here he needs to be standing here loading the parts taking off the finished parts because the only time a company earns money is when that part is finished so he's doing his work here the work that's being done on the machine is coming from that and that is exactly what you need to make money on a machine. So you tell me what problems are you seeing in a machine shop where you go actually this is going to be the solution? The problems are when guys are standing by machines so they're standing at the machine with the door open they're in the machine they're they're doing clearing swarf out they're measuring apart they're changing turning apart over what that means is um, for health and safety reasons, that thing can't be spinning when he's no, doing that or she's doing that. So if they're in the machine doing that, then basically you're on a hide into nothing. You're not going to earn the same money as you would as when that's turning. Okay, and the actual machine itself, is it flat fast? What is it attacking? Can we hit all metals? Is it solid? Yeah, it doesn't matter what materials you're cutting with something like a Matsura. The build of the machine is extremely dynamic. You've got a 15,000 RPM spindle. You've got high speed rapids high uh, levels of acceleration but some would question whether you actually need that in a machine like this because you're going to keep the spindle going you know you may choose to back off the, the feeds and speeds if you want because in some instances it won't matter because the pallets are feeding the machine so it can be running unmanned so i'm running this unmanned i'm running this lights out but something else i need to consider tooling what what do we have to look at here okay well tooling's important because every job needs a cutting tool here you've got 90 stations on this 90? machine 90 stations now that means that of course you can basically do lots of different parts and varieties of components but what you also have to think these days is it's not one tool per operation cutting tool manufacturers and suppliers are, are making tools that can do several different operations so then you need less tools to do a job so having 90 stations gives you the ability and we come back to this point here to load this machine up and keep it running unmanned and it's not just about high production same part it's about quantity but also variety at the same it's about varieties of components it can be machining castings you can be machining billets you can be machining hardened steel you could be doing aluminium and you could change from one to the other very very quickly right let's talk money 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 that's ultimately what you're going to want to make on this machine so are you going to become more competitive are you forecasting work differently when you've got a blue beast like this well of course because you, you, you all, all the barriers have come down you know if you're keeping the spin I keep going back to it I keep pointing at it but if you're keeping that spindle going some of these machines will be running 95% of the time so it means that you can be more competitive in supplying parts to your customer it means you can make more parts for stock so when he asks for more parts you've already got them on the shelf there's so much more flexibility that you can have when you are quoting uh, in order to win more business because if you're not winning the business somebody else is and you know what proof is in the pudding there's a mam 72 pallet changer over there and you've got another one here yeah can't uh, beat that it is a fantastic machine and i do have to say that automation is definitely the way forward whether it be a machine like this or any automation solution has got to be the key to success uh, in engineering companies